In the previous video, we took an in-depth look at installing and configuring the vSphere data protection appliance. It's now time to start using it and creating backup jobs. In this video, we will learn to manage backup jobs. We will look at the various types of backups that are available such as image level backups, virtual disk backups, application level backups and so on. So we are in the VMware vSphere web client again and I am looking at uh, the vSphere data protection appliance that's running at our headquarters site and we see that we have one backup job already in place and it's enabled and it's backing up the Windows Server 2016 uh, server that I have the virtual machine now we are going to click on backup job actions and create a new backup job so the backup jobs can be of several types you can either have guest images that is entire virtual machines or applications so if you have application servers such as a SharePoint server exchange server or SQL server then at an application level we can back up those uh, application servers we're going to back up uh, guest images because the process is uh, essentially the same and click on next we have the option here of uh, selecting the full virtual machine with all the VMDKs there or we can pick up individual disks of a certain virtual machine. Now, I'm going to go with the full image because uh, I won't be able to uh, restore the entire uh, virtual machine. And especially if I want to uh, replicate it uh, across, that is replicate the backup across to a second with, uh, VDP uh, that's uh, out uh, somewhere in a, in a branch or at a disaster recovery site, I'd rather actually do that. Now there are uh, cases of course where uh, you would want to back up individual disks only if there's only one disk that uh, changes for example that's the one that you want to back up. So you have to uh, look at uh, that situation and make a decision. Most of the time I suspect that one would be uh, backing up uh, full images. This checkbox here to fall back to the non-quiesced backup if quiescence fails is that if VMware Tools essentially is uh, unable to uh, quiesce the uh, operating system uh, essentially making sure that all pending I.O. has been uh, completed and no new transactions are going through at that time when the snapshot is uh, taken then we go back to a non-quiesced backup and so what I have decided to do here is just go back to the non-quiesced backup because uh, if you wait for an operating system to actually uh, quiesce uh, it, it adds uh, a lot of time to the backup job because that could take a long time for a uh, large and very productive uh, server. Click on next. So we have to select the backup uh, sources and we are looking at this uh, data center here. Now we have a choice of uh, two servers, 200 and uh, 201. I'm going to actually pick up uh, one of these uh, Ubuntu virtual machines that I have in, in place here. So uh, as, as an example, perhaps we can look at uh, Ubuntu 14.04 long-term support uh, packed pub 2. And uh, we, we select that. Of course, you can select uh, multiple uh, machines. We're going to do uh, one and then I click next. Now we need to look at the schedule. So how often are we going to do the backups? Now. The backup schedule can be a daily schedule, it can be a weekly schedule, uh, it can be the, you know, the first, second, third, fourth or the last and then you have the days of the week in every month and you can define the start time on the servers as well. The reason the start time on the server is defined as 8 p.m. is uh, because the backup window as defined for this VDP appliance is starts at 8 PM and of course uh, that can be uh, changed so we look at the daily uh, backup uh, schedule and we back it up at 8 p.m. which is the start of the uh, backup window now we need to specify the retention policy you can of course keep it forever you can keep it for any number of days that you wish or you can keep it until a certain date or one can have this schedule so you can have daily backups uh, basically for 60 days and weekly backups and this is usually set up by the infrastructure organization uh, they make uh, decisions based on business requirements for these uh, retention policies so obviously the numbers that one plugs in here in a production environment is, is based on what is required for the business for that virtual machine I'm going to keep things uh, simple again 
So the retention policy will be for 60 days and then uh, the backup will be uh, wiped out. I click uh, next and I need to specify a backup job name. So I say packed pub backup job. It needs to be a unique name. And there we have it. We are going to back up the uh, Ubuntu Packed Pub 2 virtual machine. It will be backed up to the VDP uh, appliance uh, storage, which was defined when the appliance was installed. And we are going to try and quiesce it and then fall back to a non quiesced uh, backup. And we'll back up every day at 8 p.m. and we will retain the backups for 60 days. And I click on finish. And after a few seconds, I get the response that the backup job was uh, created uh, successfully. I click on OK and we can see that the new job has been uh, published and enabled. It has never been run yet and uh, what we have an option to do now is to actually select that and you can click on backup now. So when I click on backup now I back up all the sources that I defined and once again the backup requests or requests have been issued uh, successfully. So when I go back to my vCenter that's running at headquarters, you can see that that uh, process has started. And obviously, there we go, the VDP uh, backup job is uh, running and uh, it creates uh, the virtual machine a snapshot, basically snapshots it and then backs up the snapshot. And then uh, afterwards, it uh, reconsolidates uh, the uh, disks uh, again after the backup job is actually completed. So we'll let this uh, job run. Uh, it shouldn't take uh, too much time. So the process is not complete. Uh, let's take a look at exactly how uh, this is uh, done. So you can see here that uh, a virtual machine snapshot is created. The backup job is run. And after the backup is done, the machine is reconfigured and the snapshot is uh, removed. So this is how this uh, process actually uh, works. And uh, what we can do is to go back into the VDP and take a look at what we have since this uh, backup completed uh, successfully. I go into uh, backup. We have those two backup jobs. This backup job uh, completed, you can see uh, it took 3 minutes uh, 15 uh, seconds and uh, this is its uh, scheduled time. It was uh, successful. Let's see if we have now more restore points. And uh, the, the answer is uh, yes, we do have uh, more uh, restore points. Uh, this is the packed pub to Ubuntu machine that we just uh, backed up and we have this uh, one point and it's interesting uh, it's only one gig in uh, size. In this video we learned how to create backup jobs, the different types of backup jobs that are available as well as how to manage the life cycle of the backup jobs. In the next video we will learn to restore from these backups and I look forward to seeing you there.